So now you met the one girl, and then you went out with her today, and you guys are getting very serious. But now tonight you have another social. I have another social. Yeah, and she told me to go to it. All the group, the guys, and everybody had their date, so it was kind of yeah. And everybody was kind of in the exact same situation. Yeah, and, and same when, with the girls; they were all yeah. in the exact same situation, all on their first dates. When you can share your life with somebody, it's special. When you have an opportunity to work for something besides just yourself or your bills, to bring a girl to America, a girl to fulfill your dreams, a girl that is your girl that you think can make you a happy man, sitting on the couch and writing letters is not the ideal way of doing it. Because in the end, all you get is a bunch of black and white, a bunch of words. You don't get no hello. You don't get no smile. You don't get no touch. You don't get a chance to hold her hand, talk to her. You just read black and white. And actually getting the vibe from them and, and the tone of how things are said. Yeah. You know, they always say, you know, 90% of communication isn't verbal. Right. I wrote, I wrote one week to this girl before I came on this trip. One week. Just let her know I was coming, when I was coming, and if we could meet before the social. And we had that opportunity to meet before the social, which opened up some things for us. But even if I wouldn't have came early, I would have came in all the time when the normal people do. But when the guys come on the tour and they're when we met that night, I still would have met at the social. But it just gave me an upper hand a little earlier on what I was getting into with her, you know? Instead of just, I have a date with her and, you know, I meet at the social the next day. I don't know how to act because we never really met before with her you know, two different strangers from 6,000 miles apart. So doing that was a big key to me. And you know, I'm not saying you sit there and write three months because after about a week, I was running out of things to say, to be honest with you, yeah. you know? But we just hit it off. And the thing with, with, with me and this girl is, is our birthdays are like two days apart. You know, she doesn't know a lot of English, but now I'm coming back in June. We're going to do the fiance visa. She said she's going to get one learning English right away, you know, and uh, we have an app to where we can talk to each other. So it opened up communication. If, if I wouldn't have said, oh, I'll wait till October to come back here again, I'd have been in the same situation I was last month, the month before that, and the six months before that. So when people tell you about getting off the couch and doing something, you know, just do it because if you're worried about your finances, then set a time on when you want to go and, and, and work it out. But if you if you don't do what you want to do and your heart tells you what to do, you're going to be a lonely man. What made you decide to do this over trying to date in America? But we always hear the same story. It works for a while and doesn't work or... It's just, uh, you see a girl, you like her, and then when you meet her, it's not the girl that you thought you had. And I think it's the same way any, anywhere in the world. But I wanted to come here because a lot of my friends and their girlfriends are, are Spanish, so, and they know English. So this girl here, well, we'll know English by the time the visa process starts and, the, and everything gets going, but, you know, she has a connection with somebody, even though it's a different dialect, the same words are, are just the same. Just a little different here or there. But bringing her to another world and be able to do the salsa dancing and, and doing the things I want to do. And I live in, in a Spanish community, so it'll all fit right in. So now you met the one girl, mm -hmm. you went out with her today, and you guys are getting very serious. But now tonight you have another social. I have another social. Yeah, and she told me to go to it. She told me to to go to it and to uh, you know just enjoy myself. And she's like, I'm not worried. It, everything will be fine. You know, just enjoy yourself and have a good time. And uh, you know, we'll talk again down the road. Mm -hmm. That's why I'm just sparks hit yeah. tonight. <laughs> yeah, I'm pretty locked on what I have. And I know what I have, but I still think that. You pay for something, you, you you should you should run it the whole way out, girl. You don't want to cut yourself short. Yeah. Plus, plus these girls came 
a lot of these girls came to see you. An hour and a half away. They're kind of the host. <laughs> yeah, they come like an hour and a half away. Yeah. So, you know, you have to, uh, you have to give them that respect that they deserve. You too can experience the romantic adventure of a lifetime. Join men from all over the world as they take a trip and find their future brides. Interested? Learn more at Mexico-Women.com If you enjoyed this video, be sure to give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. Then click on the notice bell to get notified every time we add something new.